Touch me here, touch me there, touch me everywhere, except the heart. Why is that organ barren of your clutches? Don't you know I live for your glance as you call me from another room amidst the crowd consisting of my mom, dad, my brother, who has no fucking idea. You're a friend of my dad's that gives you the freedom of filling me up without rhyme or reason. Justified, when I was five, you'd get out of all blame because there's nothing to grab. My friends were all around. How did you manage to pull that off? Would you touch your infant child with the same hands as you lay him down for his nap and console your clueless wife of your pathetic existence? Oh well, again. I was 12, you 35. Seems like age didn't lead to wisdom in your mind. Your son grew older, jumped into my arms not knowing that you touched the very same. The same hands that protected me the only wall protecting my modesty. What if your wife fell into the same game? You talk of society and metaphysical literature and then you play the very music keeping in mind with my brother's voice in tow that this echoes in my mind as your victory song. You didn't get caught. Bastard like many others. I hope your parents find out soon enough of what a fucking failure you've been. Stop! I say to the voices in my mind who are replaying that very memory again and again and again, thinking of a different conclusion every time. In my mind, that hand enclosed a candy bar and not what it really did, my dignity. Telling my mother didn't help really. She said, shh, don't repeat. I see Indian society flashing before my eyes. Progressive, are we? Take me out of this fucking illusion, mom. You aren't giving anyone any solace with your false promises of justice. It's like going away from him would change his mind and would make my body a virgin again. Thank you.